Hey internet friends, my friend sent me an article this morning titled Fox Comedy Features Six-Year-Old Trans Boy Wearing Bondage Gag. The article is from Information Liberation. It reads, A sickening new comedy show on Fox features a six-year-old boy wearing a bondage gag. The boy, who is apparently transgendered, is seen wearing the gag after burning his tongue licking a hot grill in a Benihana-style restaurant in exchange for a thousand bucks from his older teenage brother. The Fox show is named The Mick, and it aired on January 1, 2017. It was created by Dave Shernan and John Shernan, both sons of top Hollywood executive Peter Shernan. Other scenes show the boy dressing like a girl and commenting how the dress he's wearing kind of breezes on my vagina. So here's the kid they're talking about. And this device he's wearing on his head is... It's not... <laughs> Where can you get one of these? I mean, can you get one of them at your local Target, Walmart? Just pick up some milk and eggs and a bondage device. You know, I, I understand that comedy sometimes has like crazy ideas. It's like the shock value of, of comedy. But <laughs> there are so many different avenues to wander down in terms of shock value that it did not Fox didn't have to do this. Makes me wonder if the producers approached the kid's parents and said, okay, here's the deal. Here's the game plan. We're going to put a bondage device on your son for a scene wherein like the photo we post all of the internet is going to be overtly sexual with drool dribbling down his chin. And yeah, uh, he's going to be famous. Did the parents say, okay, great. Or did, did they even... Did they even question it? Or is the allure of fame just generally too much for anyone to say no to any any request? <laughs> Quite frankly, I feel like Jeff C. from New World Agenda sitting here telling you that they are like slowly indoctrinating us into this New World Agenda, essentially, wherein, you know, children are sexualized. Uh, their children are transsexual. There are 50 different genders. God. Can you just tell me how bad it is? He burnt his taste buds off. Oh. I'm a transformer. Well, you're a trans. Yeah, sure. Close enough. You look really good in that dress, by the way. Thanks. It kind of breathes on my vagina. Yeah, yeah. I guess the best way to reject the sort of agenda being pushed on us is not to partake in the actual viewing of this show by not giving them any support, any money, any Nielsen, you know, ratings or whatever. But it's going to continue to happen. Uh, if this show doesn't, if it gets canceled, five more like it will pop up in its place. What is the solution? How do we combat this sort of over-sexualization of children? That isn't even subtle. It is so overt and disgusting. And I mean, are, are we okay with it since it's a little boy and not a little girl? If this were a little girl, would we be more angry? Would we be angrier? all I have to say. I really wanted to get your opinion on this and see how you all feel about it. But yeah, until next time, thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.